Hey babes! My name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoy and if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. This is the last video I'm, op I'm uploading for 2020. This year feels like it went on for a long time. Then the last couple months feel like they flew by. We're already getting into 2021. It's really crazy. First and foremost, I did give myself a tan. So I have like some areas that look a little wonky. So maybe my foundation is not like matching my skin because I just tanned myself last night. And this shirt is very revealing. I did not notice that until I started filming. I'm like, whoa, like I'm usually wearing t-shirts that are like up here. So don't mind that. But last year, for my last video of 20 of 2019 i believe i did a by 2020 i mean a by 2019 like by felicia telling you guys my favorite of 2019 so i decided to bring it back and do my favorite of 2020 all the stuff i have compiled for you guys are lash related lash studio related and just like personal related so let's jump right into it and i hope you guys enjoy Starting off, as a lash artist, I already had face masks. I would always use them. And when the pandemic hit and there was a shortage of face masks, I had um, a couple here in the studio that I was able to give to my kids, my husband, my family. Um, but now that we've been using face masks all this year, a lot of different brands came out with face masks and I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite. So Ulta has the cutest ones and I bought all three packets that they have. They're about like $10 for three in each packet. This packet is white with black polka dots. It's a white with black marble. And then the third one is all gray. The second packet that I have from them is a pink packet. So they have an all pink one, like this color, this exact color, my favorite pink. They have an all pink one in that second packet. They have a white one with pink marble. And what is the other one? I think they have a cheetah print in there or something, a white cheetah print. And then they have another packet that has this exact cheetah print. They have a white and gray cheetah print in there and then like a just all black face mask. So I have all three packets and they're from Ulta, like I said, $10 for three. And my friend Amanda, I'll tag her down below and I'll add her shop. She hand makes lash face masks as well. Her her lash brand, like on Instagram, her handle is Lashed by Amanda. She is the sweetest soul ever. I really, really love her. She sent me like a little thank you card that says Jessica and she spelled my name correct. A lot of people always spell my name with two S's, but it's actually Jessica with one S. So I ordered these two. She has so many different ones. She made some for Christmas and her shop is just so cute. And like I said, she hand makes them. So of course, cheetah print. I love cheetah print. And then this one is so cute. It's like crackle or something like that. I'm not sure what you would call this, but it is brown with a little bit of crackle on there. Let's try it on. Booyah, fit perfectly. Ooh, this is so cute. Ooh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some people hate face masks. I feel like I'm still gonna wear them if we don't have to because it makes me feel cute. It's like a fashion statement and I don't have to talk to anyone like my long hair and then just my face mask. People don't like really know like can I talk to her? And I'm like, no, you can't. I'm just here to get my stuff. I'm here to work out. And like, it's just, it just feels like a shield. So face masks are definitely a must to invest in something cute, you know, so you can like feel like fashionable when you wear them. So I'll have these linked down below. If I can find Ulta, I'll link it down below. But these have been one of my faves for 2020. This year, Borboletta came out with their new line of lashes called the OG Lashes. I only stock these lashes in the studio. They are just 
the prestige lashes out there they feel very cute like the packaging one the actual lashes itself are just phenomenal i use their classic lashes and their volume lashes in 0 0.3 0 0.7 and i just feel like the consistency on them is just top tier and they just look so cute in my lash cart ever since they came out with them earlier this year like i mentioned these are the only lashes i stock in the studio the second thing that I only stock in the studio and I don't purchase anything else is of course my favorite untamed artistry adhesive. This is the retention one. I've used it all year. I've used it during spring, during summer, fall, and winter now that we are heading into winter. Well, we just got into winter and it has not failed me. I keep it in this airtight container with silica beads in there and it's just been my favorite by far. I don't want to try anything else because it just works for me so well. So my favorite lashes and favorite adhesive of 2020. I was looking at my 2020 vision board. I had it near my lashing station up here for about three months. On that vision board, I had a little, you know, area where it says I want to bend so I don't break. There was also something about drinking more water, LashCon. I did attend LashCon, it was virtual, but I still attend it. And then there was also like a little map that I wanted to travel the world, but a lot of this stuff did not happen. I am going to be making a vision board for 2021, and I'm also going to do like a word of the year as well. But as I mentioned, I did want to start stretching more and I have all year, all last year, I've been stretching so much more. And thanks to these two items, this one is the Lash Happy Academy by, I forgot her name, but I'll link her down below. It's www.lashhappyclub.com. You can actually sign up. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's videos informing you way more than just like these little pictures on how to stretch. And she interviews, I think, chiropractors and like different people i'm not sure i haven't really looked into it but if you guys are interested in that and learning more about like stretching she's more of a professional in that like i said i'll link her down below but having this right next to my station and taking about 30 minutes not 30 minutes about 30 seconds in between guests just to like go over all the stretches and then use this on my hands has definitely helped me so much throughout 2020 i feel like it has helped i've never really had hand fatigue like when i lash think the lash gods um but i feel like it has to do with me stretching between clients sometimes in the middle of a client like if it's a full set i'll stop like midway and just stretch really quickly i don't want to be in my like late 30s 40s and feel like i'm just gonna break so i want to be able to stretch now that i'm kind of young i'm 25 i want to be able to stretch and move my body us as lash artists we're in this pose all day we're lashing 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 and I've taken accountability of like me, myself, getting up, going to get water, walking to the restroom. Even if I don't have to use the restroom, I'll take like a little lap around the hallway just so I can like move my body and like I said, stretch it so I don't just, I'm sure if you're just like this and you're not stretching, your body's gonna start aching and hurting. So these were some of my faves of 2020 and I'm gonna keep saying that after I share with you guys everything my faves of 2020. But it was, it was like, it just helped me so much feel younger than when I started lashing because when I started lashing, I did not learn that I should be stretching. So if you guys are watching my YouTube videos and you guys are trying to get into lashing or you're a newbie in the lash industry, make sure you're stretching, make sure you're taking care of your body, drinking lots of water. I am going to link up here for you guys my old video, the By Felicia 2019 um, favorites because I talk about a water app that helps me, remind me to drink water. And you guys should just go watch that video because all everything I mentioned in that video is still my favorite. So there's gonna be other favorites in there, um, like podcasts that I'm not gonna mention in this video and like other amazing things that I really, really love. Um, but 
you guys should definitely be taking care of your body if you're just starting out it's definitely gonna prolong your lashing career I also have another video all about these stretches and different stretches that I've learned uh, from different people on like on the wall and just random stuff that I'll link up here for you as well but just stretch move your body because you want to bend so you don't break 2020 was really hard on everyone a lot of people lost their jobs and there was someone that made a path for us lash artists that couldn't lash and she created something that could employ us and make us still have that connection with our clients and give them those lashes that they so truly love her name is Brittany strong she came out with designer lashes this right here is roxy girl um, i'll have her information like with everything i am sharing with you guys today linked down below for you guys but what it is is if you're a lash professional you can purchase this it's a kit and it is it comes like this with a strip of magnetic lashes and you custom make them you can charge your guests anywhere from 80 to 100 200 depending on your artistry skill level you can charge them for the consultation you facetime them you get to know what kind of set they're interested in if something more natural something more glam cat eye open eye whatever and you custom make their lashes for them you place them on the you get the magnetic lashes you place it on roxy girl i'll also have a video linked up here for you guys if you have not watched me do my own lash extensions i go more into detail of how to do it um but that is something that had never been done before i have made my own lash strips before but never with magnetic liner or magnetic strips i would put um, latex on them and when i would take them off it would just look gunky and like mess up my beautiful work so doing them on these magnetic strips just changed the game another product another product that came out in 2020 that i am obsessed with is these untamed artistry pre-made volume fans um she just updated so untamed artistry just updated their packaging i just ordered some new ones so stay tuned so you guys can see the new packaging but it is so cool and i will like to share it when i receive that package because i am going to start doing another i'm going to add another video to the my weekly tuesday uploads i'm going to upload on fridays maybe more of like a vlog style lash with me just like more like personal videos um, my tuesday videos are still going to stick to like me sharing with you guys my lash journey my favorite products what helps me like all the videos you guys are used to but i am going to add a new one on friday so stay tuned for those but these pre-made lashes changed the game i use pre-mates to do my strip lashes it cuts down the time and it makes making strip lashes so much more fun because i have talked to friends that say making the strip lashes like hand making them that it was just so time consuming like they would crystallize their fan and then apply it so when i first did my strip lashes I did them with um, pre-mades and that's all I use them for. You could definitely use them on your guests as well. So if you're only trained in classic lashes and you want to give them a little bit more fullness, you can do hybrid with these. You can They're just like placing a classic lash. So these were some of my favorites of 2020. This year I updated like my storage where I placed my items, just making them a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and really cute. You only have to purchase these one time and then they're gonna last you a lifetime this is my tweezer storage container I'm thinking about purchasing another one just so I can have like two or three they look so pretty everyone always compliments them my guests love them I do have like another like shelf acrylic shelf where I have all my other tweezers just laying down but having them like this is just so bougie and just so luxurious it does come with like a little lid so no dust gets on your tweezers and again just so pretty and luxe 
Another storage that I got was these from Untamed Artistry. They're lash palettes and they just changed the game for me. They are so luxe, so high quality, very sturdy, like they're kind of heavy so they don't slip and slide through my lash recliner. I don't know if you guys can see back there, but I have a big black box that has my lash tiles in there, but I'm slowly purchasing more of these. I also purchased another bundle. Untamed Artistry has three for 65, I believe, so you do save some money. She also has them one by one, so if you just wanna purchase one, see if, you're, um, if you like them, which you are gonna like them, you can um, just purchase one. They do come like a little bit, what do I wanna, how do I wanna phrase this? They come a little bit tight, so like the first times you're opening them, they're like really on there. You're like, hold on, they sometimes slip and slide. But now that like you open and close them so often, they get, you know, a little bit looser if I if that's what I'm trying to say. But these are a must if you're a traveling lash artist, if you want to pre-make at home, if you want to practice anywhere, like just taking one of them in your purse versus before when I would have to take that big box with me home, it was just a hassle. Now I take one of them and it's just super easy to just take and they're some of my faves of 2020. I talked a little bit about my litter board when I was decorating for Christmas because there is a Christmas quote on here by the movie Elf. This is a must in every lash studio. You can add your price menu on here, you can add just a cute quote you can add something you want your clients to see like wash your lashes you dirty animal I just feel like every lash studio needs a letter board it comes with this little cute stand that I actually painted the exact same color I have here um, you can also hang it up it comes with like a little thing that you can just hang up and the colors it comes with is white blue and pink so I'll have this exact one linked down below. You can just use the white ones. I'm sure you can find a lot of them on Amazon, like black and white ones to fit your aesthetic, but it's just a must in the lash studio. And then my last fave of 2020 is these Forever Roses. Look at them. They are real roses. I have them like this on my cubby and so many of my guests have complimented me on these roses. They're just so beautiful to have in your lash studio, at your house, gifted to your mother for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, anything like that. They are a must. They say they last a whole year. I'm not sure. I've had them for a couple months and they look brand new. They come in different boxes. I think they come in square, really big ones, maybe smaller ones, I'm not sure. But I feel like having these roses in your studio is a must. Just like with my candle and my little plug-in, I don't like burning candles in the studio because they burn out in like three days. But having the plug-in in my wall keeps my studio smelling amazing for about two to three months. Having these roses, it's just gonna keep that look, that fresh, that alive look in my studio for a whole year, they said, versus me bringing in fresh flowers that are gonna die in like a week, two weeks. Um, so yeah, this is my last fave of 2020. The back does look a little bit empty because I am having to redecorate. Christmas is over. I need to get rid of the candy canes, bring more waters, decorate over here because I brought a lot of the stuff so I can show you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is the last video of 2020. I am so thankful for every single one of you that is watching my videos. I really appreciate you. I am so honored. I always say this, but I'm very honored that I can help you guys in the lash industry, in your lash journey. Oh my goodness, it just means the world that you guys would take your time to reach out to me, to comment down below, and to even watch my YouTube videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. And with that being said, bye 2020, AKA bye Felicia. 
If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to share it with a friend. Let's share the lash love. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I can know. Subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. And until then, bye my loves. I did that perfectly for the last video of 2020. Now, a face is gonna pop up right here. Click it and you are subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to watch two other of my videos before you head out. I love you. Bye, 2020.